Okay, so it's finally time to make a Chromebook out of this old Windows laptop, a Fujitsu Lifebook. I have done an installer on this USB thumb drive from uh, Neverware called Cloud Ready. So let's start. I have already done so that this computer can boot from USB. You have to set that in BIOS if it's not already set to boot from USB. So I've already done that. And as I said before, if I can succeed with this installing Chrome OS on this one, I will of course clean this up and uh, make this look a bit nicer because it's very dirty at the moment so but let's see I start the computer now with the USB thumb drive installed <clears throat> let's see if it boots from uh, USB and it looks like it does because there you have cloud ready pretty cool this is a cloud ready installer with chrome os it's based on uh, the open source chromium operating system so it will be nice to see Okay, what happens now? Welcome! As you can see, you can choose your language here. So, I will choose Swedish. Swedish is my native language. Swedish, down there. And the keyboard will be in Swedish. And now the network. This is my Wi Fi network. And now I will um, tap in my password. So wait a minute. Now I have entered my password for my Wi Fi network. Now it's connected. Continue. I'll agree and install. As you can see down here, it looks like Chrome OS already. Pretty nifty. It actually boot Chrome OS directly from the USB thumb drive. So I need to uh, install it afterwards because I don't want to boot it from a USB thumb drive because it's so much slower. But now it's time to um, enter my password for my Google account. So wait a minute. So now I have entered my password for my Google account. Now it says wait. But as I said, down here it looks like we are in Chrome OS already. Hmm. I got an error for synchronization. I don't know why. But uh, here we get uh, which avatar I want to have on this account, so I choose my normal profile avatar. This is pretty cool. It looks like we are now in the Chromium operating system. The language has changed from Swedish to English after syncing your settings. Hmm. 
change back to Swedish requires a restart, so I will check that later. And here we have a tour. But uh, I'm not sure I should take this tour at the moment because I need to install this. But uh, you have some settings to do, so maybe I need to do this tour. Okay, install cloud ready, that's what I want to do. Hmm, I can't do this now, so I need to do the tour first. It looks like it. Feels really nice. But uh, I try to install this. That's what I should do today. Install. The cloud ready installer. All the data will be removed. So if you have any data that you need to have on the computer, then you should wait with this and uh, back up that. I can choose to dual boot, cloud ready and Microsoft Windows, but I don't want that because I don't need Windows on this computer. So I will install cloud ready standalone. A new last reminder to that I will erase all the data on this hard drive when installing this. So I don't care. So now the cloud ready installer erases all the data from this computer on this computer and installs Chrome OS, Chromium operating system. Pretty nifty. And as you can see down there, a Chrome icon, apparently blue. And here is my account and the battery status and Wi-Fi and uh, I see the time is totally wrong so I need to check that in the settings later it says that uh, the installer will take at the most 20 minutes so I will uh, come back, I will uh, pause this recording and come back when it's done. Okay, bye. Okay, so now it seems to be installed. So it has powered down the computer. And uh, now I remove the USB thumb drive from the computer. And uh, let's see what happens when I click on the power button now then it seems to boot kinda quickly nothing happens now cloud ready login the cloud ready logo The installer took about six minutes to complete, so it was not 20 minutes as I said. So six minutes was quite good and now it boots, but it takes quite a long time to boot really. I thought 
Chrome OS should be faster. And now the screen went black again. Hmm. It flashes. Okay, what happens? It restarts again, so this is not good. I don't know what it does. Doesn't seem to work really. Why did it reboot again? Really strange. If it's not gonna work, I don't. I will not try again. But now I need to choose everything again. So I will um, pause re this recording again and do exactly the same thing as before. Now I have logged in again to see if it works. And I got a synchronization error again hmm I don't like this it doesn't seem to like my Swedish choice of keyboard and language not good But it says here that it synchronized my settings, so I don't know what that means, but uh, my settings, I haven't done any settings, I only logged in, so at the moment I don't know what it's doing. Hmm, I'm not sure yet what to do. So I pause this recording a bit again. I had to reboot the computer again and uh, log in again, but uh, now it's kind of buggy. It glitches a lot. So I'm not sure what is wrong with this. My experience has not been as good as I had thought it should be. But uh, maybe it has synced now. It looks like it sings at the moment, so that's good. It's very, very buggy, it feels like. But um, I will um, continue see what uh, this does okay but now I end this video for this time I have installed Chrome OS on this computer now I need to do settings and so on and see how this works and do a lot of other cool things my next video will be when uh, Everything works as good as possible and I've cleaned the computer and so on. So, bye for now.